Hey guys, I know you recognize this. It's the PS90 bullpup rifle made by FN Herstal that shoots the 5.7 by 28 round. Its magazine capacity of 50 rounds, well, or 30, or 10, depending if you live in a state like the People's Republic of California, coupled with its extremely low recoil and fast follow-up shots make it an effective personal defense weapon, or PDW. The two most often asked questions about the gun seem to be, Hey, dude, isn't that the gun they use on Stargate SG-1? <laughs> well, yes. Yes, it is. But a more important question is, what's the right distance to zero the sight in at? The truth is, there's no right answer to that question because it really depends on what your use for the PS90 is. But the relatively high sight over bore height does make your decision an important one. So I won't try to answer the question, but I will try to give some data that may help in making that decision. The point of impact will vary, in fact, can vary greatly depending on the distance as well as the ammo used. Knowing how to use your reticle becomes more important if you are going to shoot at distances that are substantially different than what you zeroed it in at. Let me show you some examples. Now, all of these, just so you know, were sighted in at 50 yards using FN's SS197 sporting round. This particular one is at 50 yards, and uh, the, the, the one circled in black are from SS197, the ones in purple are the Elite Ammunition Protector round, which I thought might give a little different point of impact, um, because it's while it's still a 40 grain round, it is moving at substantially faster speeds than the SS197. And then the T6 is actually, uh, I think it's a 28 grain round, moving even faster, probably 3,000 feet per second. It, they they all seem to be about the same height. Um, the the distance the difference in in uh, in windage is actually user error. I hate to admit because um, this is a brand new gun and I guess I didn't tight down, tighten down the screws enough on the on the rail and it was I figured out after I shot it that it was shaking. I've subsequently fixed that and Loctited it so that's not an issue. Anyway, this is zeroed in at 50 yards. Here's the same rounds, still um, using. The dot as the point of aim, and you can see, also once the rail is tightened up, you get tighter groups, that uh, you, you've got a distance here between what you've aimed at and where the point of impact is, and the T6 is now shooting lower than both the protector and the SS197. And then when you get down to 7 yards, look at the distance here. The, uh, honestly, the protector in the SS197, it was just putting the bullets through the same hole. T6, there's, there is a slight difference. Well, let me show you how I figured out what's going to happen with this using an uh, app for my Android phone that's also available for iPhones, by the way, called Straylock Plus, and what the difference is with regard to the point of aim and point of impact with the particular reticle that I used, which is the one on the EOTech XPS 2-2. This is the Straylock Plus application that's on my Android phone. I've already entered the information that it requires about the gun, about uh, the various loads. Um, in this case, it's the SS197 load, um, altitude above sea level, all that kind of stuff, and it calculates ballistics, basically. I've told it that it's going to zero in at 50 yards, and it uh, has a, an image of what the reticle looks like. This is basically saying if you're shooting at 50 yards, it's showing what the point of aim should be, which is right centered on the dot because I'm shooting at 50 yards and it's set for 50 yards. If I change it to 25 yards, which uh, I showed you the target for, I see I can calculate it and it says that I need to change from my point of aim 2.24 inches, but if I take a look at the reticle, it shows that it's going to, uh, the, the aim is required to be basically at that second dot down as compared to the first dot. Now, if I change that to seven yards, which is the other, the third target rather that I showed you, the point of impact's not even on the reticle. When you calculate it, it shows, well, I have to adjust by 4.17 inches. But this is why it's so important to bear in mind the uh, sight's height over bore when you're sighting in the PS90.
As you can see, when this particular sight is zeroed in at 50 yards, you basically have to know that when shooting at distances you're more likely to encounter in a home or self-defense situation require you to aim four inches high. The reticle doesn't really come into play in that situation. So when you're doing close-in shooting like this, you have to adjust your point of aim accordingly or you're going to miss your intended target. I hope you found some of this information helpful, and lastly, what would any video be without some gratuitous shooting scenes? Happy and effective shooting, everyone. Hey, honey, I think there's a bad guy in the house. It's a good thing we don't live in a state where there's all these obtrusive gun laws. Die, scum sucker! Think I got him?